of time over the years cleaning out pools that had been destroyed by the winds. In 2011, November 30th, we had the worst windstorm in probably about 80 years in my area. We had sustained winds over 100 miles an hour. It took me over a month to get the pools back in shape. This video, I'm going to give you some tips in cleaning a pool that's been hit by a windstorm, whether you're a pool service professional or a homeowner. If you're expecting a major windstorm in your area, it's a good idea to turn off the pool the night before the windstorm hits. That will prevent any kind of damage caused by debris getting sucked into the skimmer, clogging it up, and letting the pump to run dry. So if you're expecting a severe windstorm, you can go ahead and leave your pool off until the wind passes. You can take the off tripper off your time clock. You can also turn off your system at the breaker. If you have an automated system, simply put it in service mode. This so will turn off the system indefinitely until you take it out of the service mode. You also want to remove any lawn furniture that's around the pool area, any glass tables or potted plants. You also want to close and lower down any umbrellas that are around the pool area. I fished out my share of these from the bottom of the swimming pool. So basically you want to remove anything around your pool area that could blow in from the windstorm. Number one priority is to skim off the surface. I don't worry about the bottom until I have the pool up and running first. I also suggest investing in a quality large leaf rake to get the leaves off the top and the bottom of your pool. And I like using the Purity Pool leaf rakes on my pool route. They're the strongest and largest leaf rakes you can purchase on the market. This here is a 20 inch wide leaf rake. This one here is a 24 inch wide. And they also make a 40 inch wide super rake. So I'm going to go ahead and skim the surface of this pool to get it cleaned off. Essentially you're cleaning the surface of the pool, that way the skimmer basket stays clean and the pool can be turned on and circulated. You want to of course clean out the skimmer basket also. Once you have the surface clean and you have the skimmer cleaned out, you also want to check the pump basket. Sometimes debris will bypass the skimmer basket or tear the basket and into the pump. So make sure the pump basket is clean. And in this case, this one has some debris in here. So for proper circulation after wind, it's essential to also clean out your pump basket. So along with cleaning the surface debris and getting the system up and running, you also want to make sure that the chemistry in your pool is balanced. You want to make sure you have a good chlorine reading. It's got algae growth in the pool with a lot of leaves and debris in it. You want to keep your chlorine level above 3 parts per million. If your chlorine level is low in your pool, you can bring it up with some liquid chlorine or some Clorox bleach. Having an effective chlorine level in your pool, again, will prevent algae growth. And it's basically a waste of time to try to use a manual vacuum with a canister when the pool gets hit by the winds. The breeze is really too big for the opening on the bottom of the vacuum. They'll be clogging it every 30 seconds or so. So vacuuming is usually out of the question. And if you get mainly dirt in your pool when the wind blows instead of leaves, you may want to invest in a portable pool pump like this here. This will allow you to vacuum out your pool and bypass the filter. And I have a separate video on my channel on how to build the portable pool pump. It's very easy. The number one option for cleaning a pool that has a lot of leaves on the bottom is the PowerVac DV2100. If you have the money to invest in this system, it'll save you a tremendous amount of time. The PowerVac uses a powerful propeller here. All the debris is trapped in this debris bag. This propeller is so powerful that it can pump 14,000 gallons every hour. The PowerVac is completely portable. It's powered by this battery here that weighs about 25 pounds. And I have a couple videos on my channel detailing the PowerVac DV2100. The power vac is essential for a pool route. It's the best way to clean a pool with a lot of leaves and debris on the bottom. If you're a pool service professional or a homeowner and you can't afford to invest in the power vac vacuum, there are a few alternatives. One alternative is a leaf bagger here. It's got a large debris bag. You would attach a garden hose here and the water would blow through this. The leaf baggers are highly effective. You see, you would just simply attach the garden hose and here. Turn it on, you can see how it works. See how the water is up through here. It'll fill the bag up. That's how the debris is taken out of the bottom of the pool. WaterTech also makes a battery operated leaf vac. This one here is surprisingly effective. The good thing about the leaf vac, you don't need to have a garden hose hooked up to it runs off the batteries. So these are two good alternatives to get the leaves off the bottom of your pool. You can also use a leaf 
break to skim the bottom of the pool. Although it's the most time consuming method, skimming the whole pool top and bottom of the leaf rake is effective. So let's look at some of the methods I use to get the pools back in shape after a windstorm and some of the tools I use in my pool route. 